When we have an equation in math, the equation is something very important. And the equation means that we have a balance. And in math, we have to make sure that when we have an equation or a balance, that we have to keep it balanced. So whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must do the same to the other side. And you have to keep it balanced. That's really important. That's one big rule in math when we have equations is keep it balanced. Now, we want to keep it balanced, but we also want to find out what x is. And we can kind of guess at some of these easier equations. But we want to have some sort of process to solve for x. And solving essentially means to do undo the calculation. So we're going to undo this calculation. So here we have some number plus 5 equals 7. So what we did here was we added 5 to some unknown number. And we want to undo this plus by using subtraction using an opposite. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract from both sides. So I have a plus 5. I'm going to minus 5 on this side of the equals. And I'm going to minus 5 on this side of the equals. And when we do that, we've if you take a look at this line here, this line represents left side is one side, right side is the other side. And we've kept started with the balance and we've kept it balanced. And that's really important. So we subtract 5 from both sides and we end up with x is equal to 2. Okay, and when we plug it in, 2 plus 5 is equal to 7, which is correct. If we have minus, we can use addition. So we want to undo this minus, we can do a plus 5. And then we have to make sure we do the same to the other side because we need to keep it balanced. So this idea of balance is really important. So when we subtract 5 and add 5 we get 0 7 plus 5 is 12 so x is equal to 12 so when we plug it back in 12 minus 5 equals 7 yep that's correct when we have a times 2 here on the x so we times by 2 so that's our operation is times 2 we need to undo this multiplication, and we can undo the multiplication with an opposite, which is division. So we're going to divide by 2. And we divide one side by 2, we have to divide the other side by 2 by, to keep it balanced. So when we divide by 2, we have 2x's becomes 1x, and 10 becomes 5. So we get our answer x equals 5. And again, we can always check this by plugging it back in. 2 times 5 equals 10. Here I have some number divided by 5 equals 6. Okay, to undo this divide, what we can do is we can multiply by 5. So times 5, divide 5, cancels out. But when we multiply one side, we have to keep it balanced. And we have to multiply the other side as well. So we end up with x is equal to 6 times 5 is 30. So we want the idea is we have a balance we have to keep it balanced what we do to one side we have to do to the other and we can undo the calculation to get x by itself by using opposites